Yo, what's the Bishop favorite Samoan barkeep here? And today we're going to do the toasted challenge. Let's see which one of these toasted is best. All right, so we have four contenders today that are going to vie for the title of the best toasted whiskey before we jump into the four contenders make sure you mash that like button hit that subscribe button you know how much it helps the channel we appreciate all your love and support so like subscribe and let's get into these bottles all right so starting on my right we have michter's toasted sour mash elijah craig toasted barrel we got the Penelope Toasted, and then uh, the fourth one I wanted to add, I only had a sample of it, I don't have a full bottle of it, but this is the Penelope Barrel Strength Toasted. So the Penelope is 100 proof, Barrel Strength comes in a little bit hotter at 114 proof. Uh, so Penelope also has a toasted rye that just recently dropped, but I have not been able to get a bottle of that yet because... Penelope hates Washington and doesn't want to come here. No Penelope is up here yet, so I had to get these sent to me. So I'll probably order that toasted rye at some point, but for now we'll go with these four. So I, this has been my first time trying the Michter's, so I have not tried the Michter's Sour Match Toasted before. Um, I have tried the Elijah Craig and then both the Penelope's. So, so I got all four of them here poured in front of me um, blind, so I don't know which one is which. They are marked on the bottoms. So we'll taste them, rank them, and then see which one comes out on top. Let's try it out. Ooh. I like the flavor on that one. You get a lot of that toasty. So that one feels proofy. I don't remember what the Michter's proof is. Well, Michter's is only 86. No way that's the Michter's. Elijah Craig is 94, and we got 100 and 114. This has got to be one of the Penelope's because it's got a little bit of bite to it. All right, well, that one's a decent one to start off with, so let's move on to the second one. All right, so this one has no proof, so I'm getting the total opposite of this one here. And if I had to guess, I would say that this is probably the Michter's. The toast on this one is very faint, whereas on this first one, you can really hit that, or you can really get that punch of toasted in the first one. This one is a little bit of that uh, toasted. So the Michter's is good, but I think I like this first pour better. Well, if that's the Michter's. Let's see. I don't know which one this is, off the nose, let's taste it. Alright, so on that one I get a little bit of nuttiness, then a little bit of that toast flavor. Again, that first one was kind of a bomb. These last two, the toasted aspect has been a little more muted. This one also tastes very low proof, so... Um, I would probably guess that that's going to be the Elijah Craig. Uh, so I actually like the Michter's better. The Sour Mash gives it a little bit better flavor. This one is just plain. And nothing special. So this Elijah Craig toast, I was looking for this for the longest. And then now... It's literally on every shelf at every store. <laughs> so that's part of the uh, part of the game is just understanding that uh, you know if you just wait, most likely you're going to run into most of these bottles. Like obviously not the pappies and that kind of thing, but all the uh, more common bottles, just wait, they'll show up at some point. All right, on to the last one.
you know, so this one definitely reminds me of the first one, so I'm guessing that those two are probably both the Penelopes. Yeah, so that one has a little bit more proof. So, I went through and tasted them again, and the order remained pretty much the same, except for the last one ended up taking the lead. So, um, I guess that these two were Penelope's, this one was the Michter's, and then this one was the Elijah Craig. So, let's check it out, see what we, uh, how we rank these. <clears throat> All right, so coming in fourth place on the Toasted Blind is, oh, that was wrong. That is not the Elijah Craig. That is, I don't know if you can see it there, that's the Michters. So I did not get that one right. Yeah, fourth place, Michters. So Michters Toasted Sour Mash, bringing up the rear. All right, now coming in third place, I guess this was the Michters, and obviously it's not, so this is the Elijah Craig. So, Elijah Craig Toasted came in third, so I'm actually pretty surprised that the two Penelopes ended up winning this. So let's see which Penelope I preferred, the 100 or the 114 proof. Second place, that's good old hundo proof. So, that one came in second, which means the winner was the Penelope 114, and that's the one I just had a sample of. So that's the Penelope Barrel Strength Toasted. So 114, 194, and 86, so it's exactly in order of the proof. So these Penelope Toasted, I know a lot of people, um, you know, I've heard mixed reviews on these, but I think these are very good pours, both of them, but definitely that barrel strength is a hitter. And then, like I said, the Elijah Craig and the Mictors, these aren't bad, but just with the low proof, you don't get such a punch of flavor like I like when I'm drinking my whiskey, so. All right, as always, thank you for watching. Go get you some Penelope Toasted. Have a good one. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's delicious.